would you say your, your food and cooking philosophy is? Look, my food and cooking philosophy has always been the same. I've been in the industry for 20 years now. And for me, it's all about limiting the preservatives and additives that we include in our diet. So it's about knowing how to cook, knowing what's in season, and using fresh ingredients. I mean, occasionally you have to open a packet of something. But I think every time you open a packet of anything, you should know that there are preservatives and additives that are in, in there. And those are the foreign things, really, that the body can't break down and, and isn't good for us. So I think if we stick to knowing how to cook the basics and learning about what's in season and how to use fresh ingredients, you not you don't have to worry about the fat and the sugar. You have to worry about the preservatives and all the rest. What would be your number one tip for, for those looking to get into the industry? Never get into the food industry um, because you don't have anything else to do. I often see people at school, we so young when we leave school, I think. We are so young when we leave school that often we don't know what we want to do. And so a lot of people go, oh, I'm just going to do food and then work, work out um, around it. And maybe some of those people go on and become great chefs. But to have a longevity in this industry, you have to really want to cook food and you have to want to love it. Um, because it's hard work, we work long hours, we work hard hours, but it is the most rewarding um, career I think anyone can have. I say that because I didn't know really what I wanted to do, but I've met so many wonderful people, I've learned so much, and it's all because I love food. So if you love it, get into the industry, don't get into it for any other reason.